Hey everybody, long time no see. My name is Rebecca and I've taken just, you know, a smidge of a break from YouTube for a couple weeks because the semester started, I had to get back to work, and um, it's been a trying time <laughs> uh, just getting my schedule figured out. So I have a lot of things I just haven't shown you. Um, stuff I bought after Christmas, up until recently, and some new brands that I've tried out. I also got a new Newly this month. I think I'm going to do that in the second video. So this is part one. We're going to show you all the stuff I've been buying. Um, and then, yeah, I've also been filming my outfits. So I will have an outfit video for you soon. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen a lot of those outfits already. But I am slowly getting myself going again. Um, just a disclaimer, I did buy a lot of the stuff end of December, early January. So... I'm not sure how much of it is still available, what price it is, etc. But I still think there's a lot of um, information to get from it in terms of fit, especially for some of these brands that are um, smaller brands, um, more expensive brands. I caught them at a good, quick sale. They will have another sale at another point in the future. And so I hope you can get some good information from me about fit. And just so you know, I am currently a size 28. Um, I say it with hesitation because some stores are not fitting me correctly. I'm a size 28, but I'm also 28 who is a little bit smaller here and then definitely has both a stomach and a butt. And so I need certain kind of cut of clothing and that'll get into the, to the conversation once we start talking about Eloquy, which I'll start with first. And um, I'm going to talk about all the items first and then I'll try it on, but for you, it'll be spliced in and yeah, just letting you know. All right, so one of the fun things that happens whenever you start um, sharing things about shopping, oh, hello, is that people then message you when there's a sale. And that's awesome because <laughs> I tell you when there's a sale. However, it kind of got me in trouble <laughs> this January with buying a lot of stuff. Um, so Eloquy was having one of their big clearance sales. A lot of stuff was on um, major reduced prices. So I decided to try some things and I don't know what it is about Eloquy. Their fit model is not at all shaped like me. I really need to try their Viola fit jeans and pants because that's supposed to be fit for someone who's shaped more like me. Um, but I keep wanting it to work because I have had some success in the past. But guys, like I really, I'm really struck out here. So let's just talk about the first item. The first item that I got was this kind of like a sweater wrap and it's in this purple navy-ish color. It's a cable knit sweater and it has a built-in wrap system. And I got this in a size 26, 28. Um, one of the things I guess I probably should have noticed whenever I was ordering is that the sleeves have this like bell effect. And I don't know about you, but I kind of get really annoyed by fabric that doesn't stick close to my skin. This one has like a little flutter, but it also has um, this elastic that's keeping it actually close to your arm. So I'm not sure about this piece. I am considering returning it. I also just felt like it didn't fit me that well. This one actually fit kind of large-ish, um, but you'll see that in a minute. So this item fit-wise was fine. I just think once I put it on my body, it wasn't really doing anything fun for me. I got this piece for, um, this is a ribbed wrap sweater and I got it for $17.49. This is a sweater, putting it on a second time, there's a mirror right here, I can appreciate it. It does feel like a lot of fabric, especially underneath my arms for some reason, and all I can think is that it's just like a really thick knit. But it is pretty, I wrapped it twice around my waist and I suppose the sleeves don't get on my nerves too badly it's not as long as I would like it I'd like it to be like there without me having to fuss with it um, the reason I said it fit, fit big is because unless I wrap it double behind me and in front it just kind of sits like this and feels really baggy so i double wrapped it and it felt better so maybe i'll keep it after all now this piece i knew better um it is wider i have it tucked back um this piece i knew better because <laughs> i 
read the reviews and if you are someone that shops online for clothes read 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 the reviews people are honest they spent their money and there's always little things that can help you like one person's downfall can actually be your gain so like one time i remember looking at eloquy and they said a bodysuit had too much room in the butt and i was like score that's for me this one i'm just gonna take it off here this is not working this one is a really cute quilted mini skirt i mean really cute look at the little gold detailing the quilting um it's even more high shine right now because i have the ring light on but let me turn it off for a second So it has like some shine to it, but it's that leather-like um, material that you kind of expect from this. And I got it in a size 28. I paid $29.99, which is a great price for a quilted faux leather mini. Um, however, everybody in the comments said, this thing is shaped very square, um, which it is. There's not very much difference between the waist and where it goes down, it only very slightly goes out. Um, and it was just sh sh uh, shaped too straight for most people. And I guess I will try it on whenever it gets time. But this A is too tight when it comes down to here in my largest part. And then up here, it's too big by like multiple inches. And so it's just not shaped for me. Again, maybe if they had a Viola Fit version of this, I could get it to work. Um, but their regular stuff... I've tried their jeans, um, I've tried their like satin skirts, everything is cut way too straight from here to here. I need it to go in and out um, and it's just not working out and I really need to stop buying from Eloquine for bottoms, it's just not going to work out for me. I also tried out a pair of their denim. Um, these ones weren't horrible, but they also weren't great. These are 7th, 8th length skinny jean. I paid $22.49 in a size 28. Um, well made skinny jeans. Sorry if you see any Lola hair. You probably see a lot of Lola hair. Um, well made skinny jeans, but I am 5'4", so the 7th, 8th uh, length is still long on me. But also, just did not fit me well and so I feel like this entire Eloquy order needs to go back um, or I need to sell it and I need to not get seduced by the low prices because the items just don't fit me well and it's sad because the quality is there. Eloquy's clothes have great quality, great design options but if the fabric, fabric like this it doesn't have stretch I just can't buy because it's not going to be shaped for my body type. I just need to let it go and move on to something else. Okay guys, I made the executive decision not to try on the Eloquy jeans. I'm trying on like over 20 items today and I do not have the mental fortitude to deal with those jeans. They do not have room in the butt. They do not have room in the gut. I rebuke you. Pew. Okay. But anyways. Um, I'm wearing the Universal Standard jeans that are in my Newly, which will be my next video. This year, probably one of my favorite brands to shop from has been Edition L. Edition L is a Canadian brand. They're also with Pennington's. And um, some of their stuff's very expensive, but I've found their sale selection to be incredibly well-priced and um, have found some really good pieces over the years. It's, it's probably one of the places I check the most to see what's new in their store. Um, so... <sighs> And Rebecca really wanted some faux leather stuff. I decided to get some faux leather leggings. And these ones are in this like, you know, red wine color. And I get to the size range. I'm like, what do I buy? They had a 26, 28 and they had a 30, 32. Well, I'm coming off of these things like not fitting me well. So I decided to get the 30, 32. And while it does fit, um, obviously, because it's a little bit big, it buckles in weird ways of course i'll show you when i have it on i'm not sure yet if i'm actually going to keep these or sell them um they are comfortable but 
uh, not the right size for me. I also got this sweater. I don't typically get sweaters with like sayings on them. I'm not someone that does a ton of this, but I really liked the texture on this one. It says Sunday Mood. And let me say, I got this one in a 5X. Again, I'm like, I don't know what size I am right now. Got this in a 5X. It's big. So cozy. I mean, a sweater that's oversized, not a big deal. This sweater is so comfortable. I just want to put it on all the time. I want to put it on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, so I really love this piece. I actually almost just bought it again in a 4X. And I think it either sold out before I could do it or I decided to save my money. But really like this piece. I'd be very interested in getting more sweaters like this from Additional. Nice and roomy. They just don't feel good on. They feel very like, they feel very much like you're going to sweat. Even on your ankles are going to sweat. They roll up a lot of this extra fabric. The sweater, however, delightful, perfectly oversized, perfectly soft. Two thumbs up. This next piece I actually bought thinking that I would wear it on Christmas. Um, and I decided to go with something else. My family does not dress up very much and it felt a little bit too uh, fancy. If you can look at it, it's these like really little micro pleats and the green color, it is green, um, has a bit of a sheen to it. And it is a wrap top, true wrap, and the wrist has elastic on it. It has a slight balloon sleeve. This top is beautiful, but it's also, as you might have been able to notice, see-through and so I did not for some reason want to wear a tank top underneath it and so I just haven't worn it yet but I definitely think this is a beautiful date night girls night out top and the green goes really well for me personally with my coloring because I have green eyes and so I'm looking forward to wearing this whenever I do actually do it but it is going to require an undershirt. Okay so lighting is not as good for this one I'll turn it up in a second. Basically it was just making the shirt too see-through but it is a really pretty shirt. Um, fits me well. I don't know. I buy too many of these. I'm starting to realize I'm buying too many of these wrap tops and I don't actually wear them very often. But as you can tell, like it's just making my bra glow. Needs an under tank. But the fit's nice, the material's nice. I like it overall. Okay, now, if you watched my video where I went down to Greenville, South Carolina, and I bought a cream colored and black um, tiger stripe, I can never tell if it's tiger stripe or zebra, I need to go check my animals apparently, dress. I really liked it, and I had said, I think, in it that I had already ordered another one, and um, this is from Additional as well, but for some reason I'm kind of slightly obsessed with these like zebra print type dresses. And this one was especially interesting to me because A, the, the top has some sheared out aspects of, of it here. It's lined all the way in the center and in the skirt. But this one's kind of navy and black. And as you can tell, when I get close to the light, you can see what's happening here. But the farther back, it's really quite, um, it's really quite understated, honestly, if you're going to go for like a full on <laughs> animal print because it's, it's hard to see. Um, unless you're in certain kind of lighting. Now this one has like a mock turtleneck and it is tighter than I imagined. But I haven't worn this out yet. I am excited for it. Um, of course you'll see it on me in a little bit. I think this is something you could really play up with different accessories and belts. Um, and again, it's just like an unexpected fashion choice. But totally on the nose with what's trending right now. Because I forgot to tell you everything, the green balloon sleeve top, I got in a size 4X and that's $24.50, I paid for it. The zebra dress I got in a 5X and I paid $19.99 for it. 
The leggings, again, I got in a 30-32, paid $23.40, and the sweater I got in a 5X and paid $29.40. And I think in addition now, um, I can go between a 4 and 5X, um, but I had gotten some things, like, 5X for them I think is a 26, 28, I can't remember. I really should be getting like a 26, 28 in their bottoms, um, or like a 28, uh, but anyways. The next thing I got was from Anthropology. Alright, so the next thing I got is from Anthropology, and this is actually my most recent purchase. Anthropology was having a sale on their sale section. And I think I either figured this out by um, Rosie Blair. Why do I suck at remembering names? Guys, help. All right, yeah, Rosie Blair. She goes by Rosie B. Me, B-E-E -E Me, um, on Instagram. She had posted some, like, steals from the sale, and also Sarah Chihuahua uh, from Curbly also posted some so I ended up going on there and seeing something that I really wanted one of them being this belt I'm sorry I keep like whoo out of the game all right so I got this belt um for in a 3x for $14.98 um and I thought this was the same one that I had seen whenever I went in the store and it kind of is but it has these little like bronze metallic um dashes I don't know if I can get close enough for you to see the dashes because it's bronze, it's really hard to see. But they're like little dashes. And, um, oh, I just noticed there's some threads coming off this one. Um, these belts are super comfortable. They're just little stretch belts. And they have these in this kind of like mini tab form, but they also have them in like a longer tab, which I probably would want to get at some point. Um, but, yeah. So I didn't realize it had that metallic part to it. It's okay. I kind of would have preferred it to be like matte, but. Um, just because I would have worn it more often, but this is super comfortable, super cute, $15, perfect. Now, if you've been um, someone that's watched my channel a good bit, then you'll know that in August, I went down to Atlanta and I went to Anthropology store. And during my visit, I tried on this jumpsuit and um, it was full price, it was like $140. And I thought about, you know, going in debt and I told myself, no, do not go in debt for a jumpsuit. However, this was part of the sale, and I um, got it again in a 3X. Uh, that's the largest, Anthropology's the largest size of 3X, but they also carry a 26. Um, so I got this for 3X, and I got it for $49.98. Oh, the original was $160. Now, I love this. It was a little tight in my belly last time I tried it on. However, when I put it back on, I realized this outer piece is actually pretty stretchy, so when I just sat in it for like a little bit, it loosened up and looked really great on. I cannot wait to wear this this spring and summer. Someone's got a wedding, invite me. I'm wearing this. Um, I just think it's so beautiful, and of course, I'll try it on again for you. was on YouTube I also fall prey to other youtubers <laughs> and I say that with my you know good intentions in my heart one of them that I've started watching lately is Samantha Joe she's a lot younger than me um, but I find her content really endearing and I found her during um, vlogmas type stuff so sometimes I just buy things and I'm like why did I buy that but here we are she had some merch it's very affordable I thought it was cute um, one of her things said, um, I'm going to regret this, which I think is pretty fitting because I got it. I'm like, why did I buy this? <laughs> it's cute. Don't get me wrong. It's cute. It was, I think, pretty like $18. I got it in a 4X. I haven't tried it on yet. I just don't know why I bought it. But hey, now I got like a little weekend thing. It is a cute little style. Um, I just don't, don't know what I was thinking there. Didn't need it. So Torrid had their Torrid hot cash sale. And again, coming off of Eloquy and not fitting their 28s, I'm like, well, maybe I'm like moving into 30. So, 
I got a pair of their lean jeans, which is the kind that doesn't have a button. It's actually in the wash right now. And then I also got this skirt and I bought them both in a 6X, which is towards 30. Unfortunately, both are too large on me. Um, this one I knew immediately was too large. The jeans, I could tell were large, but I was like, oh, these will be good, like comfy day. I don't want any compression type of jeans. Wore them to my mom's house and within like 30 minutes of wearing them, they had just ballooned out. So I'm washing them, I'll probably end up selling them. But I've reordered the lean jeans in a 5X because I do think they're awesome. This skirt is cute, but just too big. Um, and I haven't decided if I'm just going to return it or if I'm going to repurchase it. So, this is a corduroy skirt. Unfortunately, I feel like I'm getting washed out because it's just too much, too bright. Let's see. Alright, so this is a corduroy skirt. It's a nice, like, bronzy red. I and mean, then there's definitely a brown tone to the red. And it has cute little pockets. Faux buttons, it's not going to open up on you, um, stretchy waist, and all of that. And um, I thought when I first pulled it out that it would work, but I'll put it on for a little bit, in a little bit for you, and it's just too big. What do you think of this style? Uh, once I have it on, let me know. I'm really thinking about buying it in a smaller size um, and going for the 5X, which is a size 28 at Torrid, because it's kind of cute, but at the same time, I don't wear skirts that often, so let me know your thoughts once I try it on. I just need to go down a size. I think I will go for a 5X um, because I like it otherwise. If you thought I bought enough, well, you, I haven't gotten to the end of it yet. The next thing. All right, so I'm very being influenced by people, which is cool because I'm trying out new brands, but Carissa of Fat Girl Flow, she has a YouTube channel here, but she's also over on Instagram. She posted a picture of her in a bathing suit by the brand Alpine Butterfly. And I already knew of the brand because at Fat Camp, again, there's a video out there about it. At Fat Camp, um, the girls who were like the guest speakers got um, some Alpine Butterfly swimsuits and they took like a photo shoot in them. They all looked really cool. These are definitely swimsuits like meant to make a statement. And so I decided to go ahead and get one because they were having a really good sale. I think it was $40 and these swimsuits are like over $100. Um, so Alpine Butterfly is known for this swimsuit that ties in multiple ties so of course i'll try this on um and i got and in the comments i asked carissa what size she got because me and her are very similar size now she had gotten a two piece um and then someone else had commented saying i also bought a swimsuit for them but it didn't fit me and i was very you know kind of sad about it and i looked around the same size as her so i asked her what size she had gotten she suggested getting the top size, which I want to say is like a 6X. It doesn't actually have a size on here. Um, and let me check. Because I have such a big bum and a tummy that I want to cover, and because of the style, you can tie it however tight you want up top, I thought it would be best if I just went ahead and went with um, the largest size. So I knew for sure it would fit. So this is their Goddess style and I did get it in a 6XL and they do say it has spandex in it and it definitely has like more like tough stretch than any other swimsuit I own. These little like parts that come out, part of it's like padded so it's really going to hold in. Um, so I'll show you that. But I think that the people over at Alpine Butterfly must have seen the conversation I was having with Carissa and this other person on Carissa's um, Instagram because they sent me a like mystery item and sorry a little fuzz on the, the um, hanger they said you know enjoy this mystery item this is not something I ordered but it's this little skirt like well actually it's a dress it's a dress <laughs> <laughs> I 
they sent me this dress that I did not order. They called it kind of like a mystery item and said, I really, we really hope you enjoy it. And it's this really pretty mesh polka dot. The polka dots are velvet. And then there's some buttons on the sleeves. And I put this on and I was like, who am I? But also I kind of like whoever this person is. And it was way flirtier than I typically go. Definitely something different, standout piece again, has two ties. It has a collar, which I'm not sure about. I think I would actually remove the collar. Um, but yeah, let me know again what you think. Um, this was very nice of them to send along uh, and they must have sent it in the same size 6X. this is not everyone's style of bathing suit I think the tan lines would be you know not the greatest but I've seen a lot of women wear this and I really wanted to I don't know sometimes there's items of clothing that become almost like your fat heroes are wearing them and this is one of them and I'm excited to join that group of women okay so this is a little dress they sent with it it's like a beach cover-up it does have a collar but I've tucked the collar in because the collar is not very me um tie front again here not supportive like the swimsuit is though they also have a tie at the waist but i kind of put it with the skirt i think i prefer it like this versus kind of like triple layer again i prefer it kind of like this little ruffle at the bottom very cute vacation with the girls um the sleeves have a button but the sleeves are kind of like loose on me which is fine because i'd hate it if it was tight so yeah, this is a fun little gift I was not expecting to get. Definitely pushes me out of my personal comfort zone. Um, but I would be interested in their other styles. Their swimsuit is very supportive. Um, I get, again, like, even I don't know that I would always pull for, like, the kinds that tie right here. But I'd be interested in their other stuff to see how it goes. So yeah, thank you, Alpine Butterfly. I did not expect this, and it was a very nice surprise. All right. We're on to the last place besides Newly, which will be in a separate video. Um, how many of you have heard of the brand Reformation? Um, it's something that has been coming up that I've heard about probably over the last year. They must have only started including plus size at that point or they're just a new brand. But one of the things I've heard over and over again is that they're a sustainable brand and really focus on like their workers having livable wages. Um, and they're known for their quality, and I believe they're sold at places like Nordstrom and stuff now too. But I've seen some of their dresses. For example, this one has shown up in advertisements pretty often. But every time I went and looked at them, they were mighty expensive. Um, this is their Siesta dress, and yeah, sustainable. That's that's their thing, sustainable fashion. Um, like I want to say, let me go look. Okay, so this is another sale that I was told about through Curvely and um, she she's a good one to follow when it comes to sales. So this Siesta dress originally was $248, an expensive dress. I got it for $74 and I wasn't sure if it was going to fit but I figured for $74 I could resell it if this brand is that popular. Um, and I got two of those. I got one in that color and I got one in a green because I couldn't decide what colors to get. Then I also got a black dress for $35.40, which was originally $118. And then I got a green dress over here that was originally $78, and I got this for $23.40. All three of these dresses were in a 3X. I had no idea if they were going to fit me or not. 3X is their highest size. Um, and let's just get into showing it to you. So this first one's a Siesta dress, and it's definitely their most one of their more expensive styles. And you can tell the fabric's just really nice. Sometimes buying buying off season guys that's when you're gonna get the good deals but anyways i really love this like flirty um flutter that they have on the sleeves and on the top line of the dress this part of the dress is actually like majorly elasticized and it is a strong elastic like if i don't care about lift i could go braless in this because it is going to hold you in 
And then once it hits about like here, it goes straight into a flowy dress. Um, all of it is lined. I love the fabric on it. I think it's really pretty. Um, and then I believe, if I'm not mistaken, yes, on the side, it has a slit. And if you can see, it's like double, it has double the fabric here. So you have, um, even though there's a slit and there's movement, you actually have another layer of fabric, so you don't actually show that much leg, which I appreciate. So, got that in the red floral print. And then I also got it in this green because I don't know what colors, like I just wanted everything and I, I kind of went a little crazy. Um, so, got this green. This is a very deep forest green. Again, it's the same style. Very strong um, part right here. I don't think I'm going to put on a special bra to try this on today. And then another um, slit on the side, the exact same dress. Very pretty, very romantic. Could see myself going to concerts, um, just out with my friends in the summertime. Another wedding, you know, just people get married so I can wear my dresses. So you'll notice with these ones, they're a little bit tight right here. Um, I'd probably wear some kind of shaper short with it. Um, and a definitely a strapless bra. Is the best fitting dress on me? No. Is it cute? Will I wear it? Yes. I would say if you're a size 26, you'll definitely fit in that 3X. Size 28, a little, a little snug on the hips. So having tried on both, and I'm sorry, my light is making me very blue toned. Um, but if I don't put it on, you can't see anything. Having tried on both, I definitely like this red version the best. I like this one. Might sell my green one, we'll see. Here's some snoring with Lola, she's sleeping over there. All right, this next dress is a, the plainest dress I got, and I wasn't sure if it was worth getting, but I also felt like it was one that I'd wear a lot. It does have pockets, and it's kind of like this tank top dress, but on the side, it has this fabric that you can then um, tie at the waist or tie behind you. It's very simple, but it's also well made. It has some weight to the jersey. If you're someone who has ever bought Rachel Pally brand, um, I used to buy her stuff a lot. Her stuff's expensive. It's this very like, heavy, soft jersey. And what I like about their jersey is it skims your body because the weight on it doesn't make it cling. It just lays really nicely. Same type of jersey for that dress. comfortable I love a square neck on it I would probably wear it with um, a strapless black bra this was long enough for me to wrap it twice and then put it around my waist there of course you can do longer if you'd like to but I really like the cut of this I think that's really pretty what do you think also I'm wearing foul slashes on this one this one kind of wants to make a, a jailbreak rude all right this is the last one um, I didn't know they're re called Reformation Jeans. Interesting. Is that a sub brand? Hmm. Some just say Reformation, some say Reformation Jeans. Which I wonder if this is like more of their like daily kind of, um, I don't know. Not as pretty princess type dress. Anyways, this is just a ribbed dress in a really pretty green color. Um, I like these kind of dresses. I thought that the shape looked like it was good for someone with big hips. It does have pockets right at the hips. I'm trying to remember how I felt about that when I first tried it on. We'll see. I'll try it on again. I've had this in like a pile waiting for me to film so I can finally start wearing these. Um, but I really like this color. Again, I go for greens pretty often. And again, a nice heavy weighted ribbed that's going to hopefully, you know, lay nice in my body.
pocket placement is at my very fullest part so I'm not sure this is the best fit on me just because it adds like an extra puckering right there but it's a nice dress this one might end up on Poshmark too I just don't know if I see myself grabbing it um, it's cute just not the best fit for me so in real time I'm about to try all the stuff on I'm exhausted just thinking about it um, but for you I've already tried on a lot of these things so let me know what you think um, I'm looking at my color story of things I've been buying and obviously very pulled by like greens and pinks um, and dark blues at the moment and black so I'm feeling the moody the moody winter colors um, let me know your favorite piece what brand you're most interested in trying I'll link everything that I can down below and if I can't find it I'll try to find something similar but anyways, I hope you enjoyed this try-on, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!